All right, what's going on YouTube? Asia your boy, guys, for the win, and I'm back with another video. And I'm bringing you another GTA 5 Online video. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can essentially turn the cops off in your GTA 5 Online private sessions. This is going to make it super easy for you to be able to grind your businesses. This is going to make it uh, a lot more fun and easy to go ahead and just mess around with friends, do whatever you want. So if you guys do want to enjoy this video, if you could do me a huge favor and drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new, I would greatly appreciate it. But let's get straight into it. So the only requirements that you have to have for this is you have to own an agency. This is the only requirement that you have to have. Other than that, you're completely good. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your agency. You're going to want to go to your office in the agency, and you're going to want to go to computer. When you go to the computer, you're going to want to go to security contracts, and you're going to want to pick the liquidized assets contract. Now, if that's not one of the three options, all you have to do is just play a couple of the security contracts, and then once you do usually two or three of them, uh, it will be an option. Now, do keep in mind that there is a cooldown between each one, but it's not very long. Um, so, yeah. But, like I said, it usually only takes about two or three if it's not already there. And then you go ahead and pick that and you start it up. Once you leave your agency, I recommend having a bulletproof vehicle for this. Um, I recommend using either the Benefactor Sterling GT because it's still bugged with it being completely bulletproof. Or, like, you can use the Karuma or any other vehicle that is bulletproof and is, you know, pretty fast. Then once you're gonna, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use your phone to call the police. So if you don't have the emergency services already unlocked as a contact on your phone, just use the, uh, the, like the dial pad on the phone by pressing square if you're on PlayStation um, to type in 911. Have the police come and just kill one police officer to give you a three-star rating. Now after that, you're going to want to go to your objective marker for the liquidized assets mission. And once you get to it, just make sure you keep the three-star level the entire time as you're tailing the uh, agent or you're, ta you're tailing whoever it is that you're tailing. Because there's a couple of different types of the liquidized assets mission. It doesn't matter if they get alerted. You can still follow them. Like I said, just make sure you keep your three-star wanted level and you follow them all the way to their destination. Now, if you do end up dying in this, that's the only way you can mess this glitch up. So all I will say to that is if you do end up dying and the mission's still going on, just press find new session, go into a new invite session, and there won't be a cooldown for uh, one of the security contract missions, and you'll still be able to pick the liquidized assets mission. Because while I was trying to get uh, gameplay to show you guys this glitch, um, it, I did end up dying once, and I had to restart. So like I said, it's not a big deal. Just restart the mission um, by finding a new session and then starting it up again. Now, once you get into the objective marker you have, um, where you have to destroy um, whatever equipment, or you have to destroy like ammo crates, because like I said, there's a couple different types of this mission. Once you destroy it, it'll have you plant the satchel charges. And like I said, when you're in this building, after you follow the guy that you're tailing, you can't die. That's the only uh, way that you can mess this glitch up, is if you die uh, once. So after you kill all the enemies, and you destroy the equipment like how I do, or you destroy whatever it is that's in the building that you followed the guy to. Uh, you're just going to want to plant the satchel charges and make sure you get out before the satchel charges end up going off. And you, at that point, are essentially done with the glitch. Um, like I said, I recommend, um, on the way there, having a bulletproof car. Um, and also, when you come into the building that you have to destroy the things in and kill enemies in, I recommend having armor, snacks, and also uh, probably like an assault shotgun and then also um, combat MG Mark II. Now, like I said, just make sure you get out before the satchel charges go off so you don't die. And then once you come out of the building, the satchel charges go off. You'll get a notification at the bottom of your screen that says lose the cops. And it'll say that you still have the three-star wanted level that I told you to get before uh, you went to the objective marker and followed the guy. But the thing is, is that there will be no cops around, no cops will spawn. And this effect uh, will stay with you for the rest of the time that you are in this session. You cannot leave this session. If you do leave this session, uh, then you will end up losing that effect of not having any cops come after you. As you can see here, though, I get a four-star wanted level. Um, I am, or I have a four-star wanted level already, just to show you guys that this worked correctly. I had a four-star wanted level already from going to the penitentiary. 
um, and I went into the convenience store. I, sh I uh, killed the shopkeeper, and I robbed it. And you see there's no cops around whatsoever. There's none that are spawning in, like, on this main road that I'm on. Um, further proof, like, right here, I have three stars. And I'm going into the Ponce and Bees closed store. I end up closing it down. I killed the shopkeeper. And as you guys can see, I have three stars. But, like, there's no cops spawning in whatsoever. None whatsoever. I leave the building, and I'm already starting to lose the cops. Um... And, like, as you guys will see, I'll expand the mini-map. And there's literally no cops. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoy.